Please give us a big shout of praise. I don't think you heard me. Give, give. Please give us a big shout of praise. Praise God. Okay. I hope you can hear me, beautiful people. My redeemer, 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 my redeemer. My name, my name. I'll raise the bar now. Oh, 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 Video David, David, good morning. Anne, Mary Lyon, good morning. Thank you so much for joining this uh, video. I appreciate you. Exclusive, thank you for joining this live. Mr. Exclusive, James, James, I appreciate you for joining this live video. Dosumu Okanlawo, thank you so much. Hush boy. Thank you for joining this live video. You're welcome. I appreciate you and I celebrate you. Your expectations shall not be disappointed this morning. Papu Mani, Aduro, Titilayo, how are you doing this morning? Thank you so much for joining this live. I do hope you guys will just hold on a little bit longer. I'm not going to be long. Just for a few minutes, a couple of minutes. For a couple of minutes and I believe... Uh, you will receive uh, multiple and countless blessings, increase knowledge and multiplication on every side, financially, spiritually, and otherwise. Thank you so much, Titi Layo, for joining this live. Before I go on properly, I want to remind you all not just to just hover around a little bit and then just sign out, but to like this video, like as much and as many times as you can, and tap, tap that like icon several times, you know, like, 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 like as many times as you can, praise the living God, hallelujah, like this video and then you tap the share icon too, share, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, you tap the subscription icon and make a choice of your package. Nora Bell, come back. Thank you so much for joining this live video. God bless you abundantly and grant you your heart's greatest desire. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. The calling of God, that is the today's thing. It's just going to be brief and then there will be a 
more a, few, a little session of uh, prayers and prophetic words. Praise the living God. I you can call your siblings so that we also pray. It's right out, out there. Praise the living God. Helena, thank you for joining this live video. I appreciate you. I celebrate you. Thank you so much for joining this live video. God bless you. I tell you, your expectations shall not be disappointed. Praise the Lord. You see, how shall they hear except there is a preacher? How can there be a preacher except he is sent? Hallelujah. According to Isaiah 61, I'm Apostle and Mrs. May Aoudou in that chair right here live right now. I am called and anointed of God since 2016 and by His mercies I've been doing this since then and God has been faithful. A lot of lives, lives have been touched. Purple Homes. I thought it was Purple Speedy I was seeing. Purple Homes, God bless you. Thank you for joining this live video. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. I tell you, I shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus. So a lot of lives have been touched. People have been saved from their sins. The weight of sins have been lifted off a lot of people. Garba, thank you for joining this live video. Praise the living God. You know, those who, were, who have been sick and encountered this ministry, have been taught, they've been healed of their diseases, they've been treated of their sicknesses. And I tell you, everyone who comes across this video today and has a disease or a sickness in his body shall not be disappointed. The anointing of God is present to heal according to Matthew chapter 12 and 15. And he healed them all. You are not an exception. God is healing you right now. Commander, thank you for joining this live video. God, the living God, is healing you right now. God is healing you of that trial, that demonic setup around your life, that wave of confusion that you've been thinking and worried and down, depressed and all that, frustrated and you're wondering when you get out of it. Today is that day of deliverance for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. God bless you all. I would appreciate if uh, we can share a few scriptures. Praise the Lord. Razi, thank you for joining this live video. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I tell you, your expectation shall never be disappointed. Scripture, Praise the Lord. <coughs> Amen. Pachuks, thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Louder, please. Amen. Praise the living Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mr. Chibuke Mwara, Bemi, thank you for joining this live video, Mr. Bemi. Oh, Miss Bemi, thank you for joining this live video. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let me share this gospel. Every scripture you are quoting is the word of God. And the word of God is not just to memorize and to read and just to study. Praise the living God. The aim and the purpose of the word of God is to walk the will of God in our life. When God created man, 
He had a will in his heart for man. And there was a command he gave to man. He said, be fruitful and what? Multiply. Fill the earth and what? Subdue. Even before he says, have power and have dominion. He says, subdue. Meaning everything, every other thing that God has created, God has created apart from man himself, must yield to man. That is, is under man. Just like in the New Testament, we have been told that the devil is what? Under our feet. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Just like we have been told in the New Testament that the devil is under our feet. When God first created man, he said, Multiply, be fruitful, have dominion, subdue the earth. Hallelujah. So the word of God is to make that purpose become a reality. And Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was with God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the living God. Amen. So the theme of today's uh, word is the calling of God. We did a little bit yesterday. Can I get that right? Praise the Lord. The calling of God. The call of God. Now the calling of God is in two phases. God calls us to salvation. Praise the Lord. God calls us to receive forgiveness for our sins. The original sin. Which man sin in the Garden of Eden that made man begin to suffer. God wants to forgive us. And he has provided, he has made a provision, a perfect provision for that sin to be forgiven. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Romans, say for all have sinned and what? And come short, we don't know that scripture, and come short of the glory of God. So every man born originally is a sinner. From the day you are born, you are a sinner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From the beginning. Man is a sinner from the beginning. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Man is a sinner from the beginning. But to the glory of God, Jesus has come to pay the price for our sins. And because our sins have been forgiven now, we have every right to enjoy everything that God has. Sin creates a barricade. Sin creates a barrier between man and the blessings of God. Praise the living God. Sin creates a barrier between man and God. It hinders man from enjoying what God has. But Jesus Christ is the perfect sacrifice. And if we look unto Jesus, our sins are forgiven. God, when God looks at us, he sees Jesus, who is the righteous man. Jesus was the first and only man who lived on this earth without committing one sin. Even when he had human flesh, he lived indeed on this earth, he never committed one sin. He was completely filled with God when he was on the earth. So he is the perfect sacrifice and atonement for our sins. When God looks at us now, if we believe in Jesus, when God looks at us, he sees Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When God looks at us right now, he sees Jesus Christ. He sees not punish us for our sins again. Hallelujah. Rather, he smiles and he is pleased. So God calls us to salvation, that is the forgiveness of our sins. And then he calls us to receive his blessings. The word of God says, upon Mount Zion, are you listening? That's in the presence of God. Upon Mount Zion, in the kingdom of God, upon Mount Zion, there shall be what? Deliverance. There shall be what? Holiness, righteousness, deliverance, holiness. And the sons of Jacob, those who believe in Jesus, they are the sons of Jacob now. They are, they are the children of God. If you believe, if you are a believer, you are a child of God. So he said the sons of Jacob shall what? Possess their possessions. And their possessions are the blessings that God has given. The blessings of Abraham are also the blessings of his descendants. You remember when God was giving promises to Abraham? He said, a blessing, I will bless you. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. Those blessings also continue unto his descendants. Now, not just unto those who are born of the flesh, that is in his family line, but those who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we are also descendants of Abraham. So, the blessings of Abraham also belong to us. If, if, you, are, if you are sensitive and vigilant, you know, to what Dr. Pastor Paul and Angel says often, 
He talks about the blessing, the blessing, the blessing. That's what he's always talking about. Always referring to the blessing. The blessing is everything that Jesus Christ died to give us. He was made sin to become sin for us. So that through his, you know, we become the righteousness of God. We have been made kings and priests. These are blessings. We are kings now. And priests. Unto God his word. Father. He made himself to become poor. So that through his poverty, we might become rich. These are blessings. Praise the Lord. So the calling of God, which is the theme of this morning's talk. Praise the Lord. The calling of God is what? Is the call unto salvation, number one. And the call unto possessing his, our inheritance in Christ Jesus. The call into the blessing. The call to possess the blessings from God. So the call of God include what? The call unto salvation and the call to receive blessings. Can I hear that, please? The calling of God includes what? Number one. The call unto salvation. And number two. The call unto salvation. Praise the Lord. The callings of God include the call unto salvation. Number one. Number two. The call unto possessing our blessings. Praise the Lord. So if you claim that you believe in Jesus, you are not permitted to suffer in this world. If you believe in that man called Jesus Christ, you are not permitted to suffer in this world and in the world to come. You are not permitted to suffer now that you are alive. And you are not permitted to suffer in hell after the life or after Jesus comes. Praise the living God. So this is what the calling of God is all about. Praise the living God. The callings of God includes number one, the call to the forgiveness of sin, the call of salvation. Number two, the call to inheriting our blessings. Praise the Lord. So if you believe in Jesus, you are not permitted to suffer, you are not permitted to fall under the authority of Satan or the world. Because your own kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. Let me give this analogy for an example. Assuming you are a citizen of America, for example, and you travel to Nigeria or you travel to Kenya, everything that the Kenyans do, that the Kenyan government does towards you, must be in line with what the American government wants. Why? Because you are a citizen of America. You find out that the Kenyan, the, uh, the American embassy in Kenya will ensure that you are treated as an American that you are. I believe that is the most perfect analogy I can give right now concerning this. So even though we are living in the world, we are actually the citizens of another country, which is what? The kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, there is only power, there is authority, there's nothing like pain, there's nothing like disease, there's nothing like sickness, there's nothing like death. Praise the Lord. Because we are of that kingdom, even though we are in this world, everything that happens in this world will be in line with what God says, which is only good things and his blessings. Why? Jesus paid the price for it. So this is what God has called us to. The calling to salvation and the calling to blessings. Praise the living God. As you are hearing my voice this morning, as you are hearing this word this morning, everything that is contrary to the blessings and the calling of God in your life is arrested by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare open heavens. Open heavens. From this moment onwards, there is a lepoma shatalagana. There is a total breakthrough into the blessings of God in your life. A tangible breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Number one, the call to salvation. Number two, the call to blessings. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are not permitted to suffer anything that unrighteous people suffer in this world. You are not permitted to die before your time. You are not permitted to be sick. You are not permitted to be poor by the reason of the anointing, by the reason of the word of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> If you can pray in tongues, pray right now. Even if you can't pray in tongues, just pray, 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 and establish these utterances.
In the name of Jesus, I command the hold of the devil broken off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God but of the devil in your life is completely demolished in the name of Jesus. The heavens are opened and God is meeting your very needs today, beginning from the little needs to the greatest needs of your life. Divine intervention. I command, I decree, and I declare divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Divine intervention in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine intervention. Divine In the name of Jesus. Open heavens financially. Open heavens. Spiritually, you are healed. You are healed of that disease. You are delivered of that satanic trial in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow shot from the pit of hell towards anyone right here, related and connected, return it back to hell, back to sender, in the name of Jesus. Back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, to sender, back to sender. Send a lot to send up, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. So, congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, because that greatest desire that you had before today. You shall see the manifestation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you. You are blessed. No evil will come near your dwelling. Neither shall any day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this world, where they say there is evil, you cannot be found there. And where you are, no evil will locate that place in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase and multiply everything that your hand touches this week shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything rightfully belonging to you which the devil stole or took from you, I command it returned and restored by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations and congratulations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you. Mr. Jabir Muhammad, God bless you. Have a lovely day and have a wonderful day. The grace of our Lord be with us, the Lord of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, that I have with us now forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful, fulfilled, divine intervention. Blessed today. Everything that you need to succeed is released from heaven. Jesus, amen.